There's PGM over here, Stanley, Washington. This is the situation I have going on over here. So I have these 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 two black poly tanks there. And what I would need what I need to do is plumb them with the two and a half inch PVC. Plumb it and put a manifold to join them all together. Get rid of the hoses and get just hose put up put up a hose fitting on off the PVC line. So here's what I got going on over here now. It's just it's it's a long distance away from the from my solar, so some of the it back what's the downside of where I have it is the solar power is off of my little shop building and that's that's on the opposite side of the yard. So I'll be if if I had to run that off the solar it'd be a lot of I could bury a power line I guess. If anybody has any suggestions about what I'm gonna put what I'm what I'm planning on doing and, and any of the equipment I'm using, feel free to leave a comment below. I would appreciate that. It's a little timer I got at Walmart in the home garden de department. And you see you set it and it allows the water flow for so many minutes. It's the other one that I used to the other one that I have, it's an older one that I got at Ace Hardware, that um, uses um, it ticks off gallons, so it uses meters it meters the water out, it moves the dial, so it's so I I think I think the pre-wash, if you want the rainwater to go fill your tank, it should be filled from this side of the of the of the system. Then that way I'll hook the feed from the roof onto that system. And it will those pipes that's a column of water right there. That 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 pipe is filled with, as it, it's it's being as it's acting as a containment. And there's a um, there's a plug on the bottom of the pipe, and it's, there's a hose fitting, five eight hose fitting, and then there's a manifold here. So it's connecting all of the downspouts. <clears throat> all of the the downspouts go to this manifold here. And because because there's a there's a there's a there's a column of water, it's creating a lot of pressure. So the height, the total height of that pipe, from the bottom all the way to the top, that's the pressure of water in there. So it really does build quite a head of pressure. I mean, you, the other the, the downside is if you get a heavy, real heavy rainfall, really fast, the um, the amount of water that's filling the, the that tube there will overspill off the sides. So if there's a heavy downpour it's full and then it's it's not timed the, the water pressure isn't enough to move the water through the hoses fast enough to fill the tanks. So there's a the through the throughput, the rate at which the tanks can fill from the water is limited by the by the diameter of the ho garden hose. And I realize that and many people have mentioned that and so See, my problem is I don't I don't think I'm going to live in one place for very long. I always think I'm going to have to pack everything up and move. So every every place I've lived at, I've had to feel like I'm just there temporarily. I don't really want to make I don't really want to build a system too too permanent. I have it set too. I guess I could cut it apart and take it down if I had to move it. So. I use it start using PVC and then you got plastic and all the glue and all that you have to deal with. So I'm thinking maybe I'll hire a plumber to help me out. So give me some help. So I gotta finish this project. I gotta get I, I spent all this money on stuff and I gotta make use of it. Make use of the materials I have. My wife really likes the ivy. If I leave it in, 